Hi, I'm Jerry Kilton. Now wombats might be powerful and tough, but there's a little mite that'll bring them down pretty quickly, and they cause mange. And if you've ever had skin complaints like eczema or anything like that, you know how horrible it must be for them to go through all that pain. So eventually, if left untreated, that mite will kill a wombat over quite some time, so it's a painful long death. Now I photograph and film wildlife, so I'm always taking photos or taking footage of animals in the wild. Well this morning I thought it was about time I gave something back. Now I've got myself a kit from my local vet for mange mite, for curing it. Now behind me here is a big wombat burrow. It's an old female with one young and they're both full of mite. So I'm going to put this kit together and show you how to do it so that maybe you might get involved and when you see how easy it is to set up and it's free, they're donated by local wildlife groups so you can donate to them if you like, I'm sure they will appreciate that but it's easy to set up so enough talking about it, let's get into it Alright, got me bit of wire that I'm going to set up across the, uh, across the den here. Now, hopefully she doesn't come out and bite me. <laughs> Can't see anything or hear anything. Be hopefully fast asleep. So we're just going to plonk that in there. that in nice so she can't go on the sides just to come through that part there. So what I've got to do now is ice cream containers. Some ingenious person's come up with a bottle cap in ice cream containers. So you just need to sort out which size. If it's only a little burrow you put a little one in. So I'm going to use this big one to hang down. We need at least a foot, so 300 millimetres underneath that, so uh, they'll push their way through, and as that lifts up, it, the uh, liquid drops onto their back. So it's a great little invention that doesn't cost much to put together. It's uh, probably the biggest expense is the fluid. All right, put this together, and it's starting to rain. So I'd better speed it up a bit. Got my little cable ties there. Put them on. Make sure it's up the right way. Now don't put the cable ties up too tight. Don't put the cable ties up too tight because it won't be able to swing. So make sure that they're slack, otherwise, yeah, it won't, shouldn't talk into the burrow, otherwise they won't work. There you go, all finished, ready for treatment when they come out, come out tonight. Let's put a little bit of uh, mite killer in the cap and we're ready to go. So ring up your local vet if you want to be involved, have a talk to them and see whether it actually is mange that they have. I'll put a link across here somewhere to a website to, to supply all these as well so you can go and have a look at photos and stuff that they have on their website. So that's enough for me. If you want to subscribe and uh, get notification whenever I do anything else like this, helping wildlife or me practicing at making wildlife documentaries as well as the odd re camera review. So if you want to see what I've already done over the past couple of years, just down there there's a little icon of a cow. Go and click on that and it'll take you to my website and you can have a look at all the things I've been doing over the years. So that's enough for me. We'll catch up with you around the place. I'll see you then. Bye.